as teachers, our goal is compliance. However, what we really should be striving for is a classroom that is self-sufficient, where students are driving the learning. And it isn't merely compliance that we're reaching for, but critical thinking. We had students who were able to read, but they weren't able to pull out details um, from a text and use those details to maybe expand answers, explain answers, or to develop a piece of writing around uh, a piece of text. When we were looking for a program for our sixth grade students for a new ELA program, we wanted a program that had authentic literature, that provided them authentic reading experiences that they could use not just in the classroom, but that, that had the skills that they could apply in their everyday reading as well. Around this time last year, we were introduced to StudySync, and it was almost instant, overwhelmingly, the kids said, like, we want that. Like, that's what we like. This is a really good story. The quality of the literature is just really helping them connect to the stories, which is really important. If you want them to, you know, be all in and be engaged in the classroom, they have to have some kind of connection. I like the stories in StudySync. They're pretty fun. When I am grading their work online, when they submit and I grade, that feedback's immediately available to those kids. So sometimes I will write a comment and I will say, you need to see me so we can go over these. And when they come in in the morning, they're at my desk. The way it lays it out for you is that you can really see a pattern. It allows me to categorize where the kids are struggling and then I can take immediate action and correct that. I get to know what I did wrong or what I should do next time. I really like how you can like comment about other people and also I like it because it can help you to like figure out like what you were doing wrong and like why you got a lower number on something. As a parent, you need clarification of that number. Like why is my child continually getting th this six or this seven or this eight? Why aren't they getting a 10? But StudySync allows them to go in and actually see the assignment and read my feedback, and then they know exactly what I'm looking for, and they kind of know the rubric of what I expect, what a 10 work would be. The results have actually been amazing. I walk into the room and I, and I see students that I've known for, for six years, and I see them um, engaged in their learning. I see them thinking ab about the questions that they're being asked, and then presenting answers uh, using vocabulary that you just wouldn't expect from them. In 2015, in Mrs. Divin's class, our students in that class scored about 69% passing rate on our PSSA, which is our state assessment. Um, and then after we implemented the slicing curriculum, we went up to 90% passing rate, which is phenomenal in one year to see that much growth. They really have the skills that show up on the test score sheet, if that makes sense. They didn't just have a good testing day. They really actually know how to do those things. StudySync provides not only the reading material, but it provides a framework for those teachers to teach that reading material to ensure that all their students will be successful. StudySync has kind of tapped into where these kids are in their lives and what they're interested in and how to make them stronger students. And that's the best part, the kids don't even know that they're becoming like stronger readers and stronger students and stronger writers because of StudySync. They just know that they enjoy it.